Hello you guys, and welcome to another challenge video. Today, uh, we are going to be doing the Rocket Fizz Soda Challenge. So what this challenge is, is that Eric and I found this really cool soda shop. They had some really interesting soda flavors. Yeah, it's all like retro candy and uh, flavored sodas and stuff. They have like over a hundred and... 120 different flavors of soda or something like that and some of them are pretty normal and some of them are pretty weird so. Yeah <laughs> Each of us chose six different sodas for the other one to try and again, this is going to be a Blindfolded challenge for each correct one. We get a point. It's important to note too that some of these flavors have like just weird names so I think if we get what the base component is, then that's probably good enough. Others have names that are just way out there and there's no way we're gonna guess the actual name of the soda. Okay, so who wants to go first? Do you want rock, paper, scissors and watch me lose? Mm, yeah, I always win anyway, so um, I don't know. Do you wanna go first? To try flavors? Yeah. Yeah, I'll okay. go first. So you can go first then. Okay. And your first one, I think, ugh, open up, I think is gonna be easy. Kind of a softball. It's one that you should definitely get right away. Um, here it is. You can smell it, and obviously you can taste it. Yeah, we blindfolded okay. because some of the drinks are are very obvious what flavors they are, just based on what color they are. Although this one, not so much. This smells like a sweet tart. Weird aftertaste. <laughs> oh man, if this is the easy one. Oh, I think I know what this is. Take a guess. I'm gonna go with lemon. No, it's not lemon. No? It's actually grapefruit. Grapefruit? Okay, that's close. It's not as obvious as I thought it would be. All right, so now we're on to drink number two of my selection. There you go. This one smells like licorice. <laughs> no, this one smells like prunes. Oh gosh. It's got, mmm. <laughs> it's got some bad artificial sweetener, but that, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna go with prunes. It tastes like prunes. <laughs> no, this is actually a product of the South. It's sweet tea. Oh god, it tastes gross. Sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> that is what sweet tea tastes like. It's weird because of the carbonation. Soda number three. This is starting to get weird now. Yeah, Ooh. this this I thought this was going to be odder than it was, but it smells like it's good. First of all, it smells like cherry, like artificial cherry. Mmm. Is this cotton candy? Is that your guess? Yes. No, it's actually... Let me see what it says on the bottle. It's pepper. It's McFuddy's Distinctively Strong Pepper Elixir. Pepper? That tastes good. Is it supposed to be hot pepper? Or just... Um, You know, it does taste like cherry. The first flavored ingredient minus all the sugars and stuff is extract of dark cherry so yeah we'll give you the point on that one awesome soda number four coming up this one is quite colorful not the color i would expect it to be for the drink that it is right in front of you oh gosh i'm nervous because i know what i got you <laughs> <laughs> i think i think you intentionally went for the worst ones you could I find did. see i didn't i was nice I don't smell it, so I'm going in. Oh. I can't get the flavor. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, like, gumball. No, it's actually peanut butter and jelly. And this is drink number five for Morgan. She has one correct so far. So this one should be pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of spacing out the ones that are good versus the ones that are bad. It smells like a bazooka bubblegum. <laughs> I'm probably totally wrong. It 
It smells like bazooka bubblegum, but it tastes like vanilla. I'm going to go with bubblegum. Bubblegum. This one is Americana, delicious, vintage, handcrafted, sweetened with pure cane sugar, honey cream. Honey cream? So you did say vanilla, so um, I'll give you a point on that. Soda number six. Mm, my stomach is just full of carbonation. And I can't even prepare you for this one. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. Did you just try it? Nope. Oh, gosh. It's not bad. Yeah, I don't expect it. it's intended to be bad. However, the label is, is quite offensive. <laughs> Gotta get some of that <laughs> air out of my belly. Now that you've got your blindfold off, this was the last one. It's Gross Gus's Pirate Piss, and it's actually Banana. Banana. So that gave you two points at the end, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. So now it's my turn. Uh, I'm going to get blindfolded, and then Morgan's going to start serving me some drinks. Okay, guys, moving on to round one for Eric. I, I got three good ones and three bad ones for him. My mind is keen. My senses are sharp. Okay, hold out your hand. Mm. <laughs> okay. It smells kind of like the peanut butter and jelly one, to be totally honest. Hmm. All right, here we go. Watermelon final answer. That's uh, actually one of the ones that you chose for me. What? Yep. Is it the peanut butter and jelly? Yep. That was the only one that we both had. Moving on to round two. Hold your hand out. This is definitely fragrant, and not in a good way. Ooh. This is kind of what I expected the pepper, the pepper one that I got to taste like. It's very peppery. Could it be a jalapeno? Did you just give me like a huge tip? Yeah, I'm actually gonna, I, I think you might have just given it away, but yeah, I'm gonna go with like a jalapeno type thing. That was buffalo wing. Buffalo wing? Okay, hold on. Now that I know, let me let me let me take another swig of it. Ooh, that's nice. Hold your hand out. Nice. It's nice. This smells like chocolate. Immediately, I get a chocolate smell. Chocolate and maybe like marshmallows, like a s'mores type thing. Like a chocolate brownie sundae or something like that. Okay, well, I'm going to give you a point because it is just chocolate. Chocolate? Uh, it's one of Gross gross Gus's. You know how you got the pirate piss? Right, right. This one's called Dinosaur Dung. <laughs> but it is just chocolate. Yeah. Moving on to round four. Eric has already tied with me, right? I only got two. Two, yeah. So you got two. All you have to do is get another one. You beat my score. Yeah, this is actually way more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> God. So this is one of the bad ones, though. This is a bad one. I mean, I don't know. It could be good. Oh, Jesus Christ. It smells terrible. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, mud. Mud? Mud. It's bacon. Bacon? Smell it again. Yeah, the grease after the... Like, if you... After you pour the, the grease out into, like, a tin can or something like mm -hmm. that, and then let it sit, and then come back to it to, to throw it away. Yeah. I'm not going to try that one. Yeah, I wouldn't try that. That's pretty gross. Round five. I hope you enjoy this one. And I'll give you a hint. I'm already tied with you. I don't need a hint. That one? That one smells like what it is. Oh, this is supposed to be one of the good ones? No, I'm saving a good one for last. What the hell is this? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> you took the smallest little sips. Little goes a long way. Oh, yuck. 
Oh, what is this? You said you know someone who would like it, though. We don't personally know them. It's someone we watch on YouTube. Someone like Will Wheaton or someone? No. No, I don't know. I don't know. That's not a very good... And they carry it with them to restaurants. It's ranch? (laughs) Ranch dressing? It is ranch dressing. (laughs) Okay, I don't get a point for it because that was a pretty big hit. It smells like ranch. No, see, it doesn't to me. Really? It's the blindfold. Did you try it? Oh god! Yeah, it's oh, off. It, it, it tastes nothing like ranch at all, like on any level whatsoever. Right. Hmm. So this one I saved for last. It's a good one. Hold your hand out. Excuse me, burping. Hmm. Smells good. Kind of like cinnamony. Like like you were saying, like a bubble gum, almost like. Like one of those uh, double bubbles. Is this coconut? No. No? Damn. There's some coconut in there. Yeah, I'm going to say bubblegum. Wrong. Okay. I don't remember choosing this one. I thought I got a different one. <sighs> what is it's it? It's root beer. Root beer? Caramel mm. cream. Interesting. I thought I had chosen sarsaparilla. That's what I wanted to get. Like it finishes with coconut. I can see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Well, I, did we tie? Yeah, we I tied. think we tied. All right, cool. No penalties then. <laughs> we didn't have any penalties lined up anyway, so. No. But neither one of us gets to brag now, so. Well, um, of the 12, what was your favorite one? The pepper. I am also going to say the pepper. Yep. McFuddy's. Distinctively strong pepper elixir. Good stuff. You're a winner. <laughs> the, the only winner in this game. <laughs> okay, you guys. So that does it for the Rocket Fizz Soda Challenge. That one was actually not too bad, other than the gross ones that I got, Eric. <laughs> and I kind of regret it. Only only the ranch one was really, really bad. That that one was the worst The by ranch far. one? Yeah, totally, okay. totally. I didn't even want to try Oh, no, I did try it. Mm-hmm. I didn't try the bacon one, so we're just going to say the ranch was the grossest. Thanks for stopping by again, and we will see you in the next challenge video. Stay tuned.